Hi, Amber Stewart here at Keller Williams Premier. I wanted to hop on today and uh, remind you all that um, if you need anything, I'm here for you. Um, if you've had a, a layoff or a pay decrease, um, we have gone through those. Um, my husband has had a slight pay decrease. Um, however, we are thankful that it is not enough that it is going to um, affect us greatly. We are going to have to change a few things. Um, but Dave and I expect, uh, experienced a layoff in 2009. He was laid off from his job and it did cause us to move and that was a lot harder um, than what we're experiencing now. So I just wanted to remind everybody that if you are going through something like that, we would love to speak with you and just help you in any way that we can. Um, because of all the layoffs and things that are going on, um, you might have the tendency to think maybe I should just go ahead and um, put my mortgage in forbearance or defer some payments for a little bit. And I just wanted to get on here and tell you that all of my trusted lenders um, have been strongly advising against this. And I wanted to tell you a little bit of a reason why. Um, so if you go and you put your you defer your payments for three to six months, however long your um, mortgage company will allow you to do that. Um, you won't have to pay for those three months. However, in the fourth month, you uh, they will expect you a lot of times to pay all four months at once. And that is scary. So you're gonna get a breather for three months, but you know, probably by the time four months rolls around, you're not gonna have that extra cash. So that's not going to help you too much. Um, the other thing is, is that while the months that you have your um, your mortgage in, your mortgage loan in forbearance or deferred, it will continue to um, add interest. And so when you do pay a lump sum, um, whatever that might be for the seven months or the four months after that extended period of time that you've not been paying, for your uh, mortgage, then it will, um, what you do pay will go directly to interest. And so it'll just tack on the rest of that principal payment to the end of your loan. So it won't just be the 30 years that you're paying. If you never paid extra on your mortgage and you went the full 30 years, you would still have more to pay of the principal because you're just paying towards the interest. In some cases, you know, uh, some lenders will allow you, some mortgage companies will allow you to go ahead and pay, um, um, pay for what you've missed throughout the following year. So like they'll put you on a 12 month plan where you can go ahead and keep paying. However, um, you know, you're still gonna have an elevated mortgage payment and if things haven't changed um, between now and whenever you're going to have to pay, you're, just, you're still gonna have extra payment at that time. Um, the other thing is, is it can affect credit. So it, it is looked at if you um, do decide to move after you've put your mortgage in deferment, um, then it's gonna be probably a year that it's gonna be hard to get refinancing or get another loan for another home. So it's going to affect uh, your credit for 12 months and it'll be on your history for 12 months. Um, let me see, I'm just checking my notes here to see if there was anything else I wanted to say. Um, so, I wanted to remind you that putting your loan in forbearance is not free money. It does have to be paid at some point. And also, of course, feeding your family is the most important thing. But then after that, please, 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 if you can, pay your mortgage. And um, if you have to put something else um, aside for a little bit and paying it, then they are a lot more forgiving than if you don't pay your mortgage. And of course, um, a lot of the time, what a, what my lender was stressing when she spoke with us earlier today was that um, because people can't pay that upfront, um, that 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 full three to six months that you had enough for, in, in forbearance, that you, because you can't pay that right away when they are asking for the payment, a lot of those homes will go into a foreclosure. And so then that's a double whammy on your credit. That'll make it even harder and longer. Um, to get a, a home in the future. So I just wanted to put this out there. I wanted to um, let my clients know that also there are loan modification companies out there that um, may try to help you. However, there's a 90% fallout rate uh, with those uh, loan modification companies. And so they will also, if you cannot pay when they when you fall out, so if you stop paying because you're, you're in loan modification and they're trying to fix it for you, if you're in the 90% that it doesn't work for that for you, then at that time, they will wanna collect everything that you're behind on and it can also cause you to go into foreclosure. So please be careful. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Um, and 
And my number is 832-713-6284. My email address is ambrstewart at kw.com if I can be of service to you, real estate related or not. Be healthy, be blessed, and reach out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.